Weapon equipment system is an important part of the gameplay experience, and there are vast amounts of ways to create such systems. It could be as simple as dropping an item and picking something else to use, or it could also be a system like what you see in games like Sons of the Forest or Diablo games, or a system like the ones in the Resident Evil series. All in all, they achieve different kinds of gameplay styles. But what if you want to switch weapons like Kratos in the God of War series? You can see him change from one weapon to the next by quickly putting one away, like the Blade of Chaos, and equipping another one to use, like a Leviathan Axe. So how can we try and replicate that type of weapon equipment system? Well, 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 welcome to my tutorial series on creating a weapon equipment system that will be similar to something like God of War. I've been working on this for a while and I'm finally at a point where I can show you guys what I've done. Before I start with the tutorial videos, let me show you the end result of what I'll be sharing with you all. So in this level, there are three different types of weapons. As you can see, there's a sword, there's a great sword, and an axe. And you can go with any of them and then press E to pick them up. And then you'll see that for each of the different types of weapons, it will be attached to different parts of the character. And if you pick up the same type of weapon, it will just simply drop the previous one that is attached onto the character. Like so. So, there is that. You could also switch weapons by pressing 1 for the sword, 2 for the great sword, and 3 for the axe. And if you press on the weapon again, it will just unequip. And you can also change between the different weapons that you have equipped onto your character. Like so. Now if you notice, if I try to spam a weapon, you can see that there's a comment of weapon is switching. So that's pretty much to prevent the players from over spamming the weapons, which if we don't have this implemented, it will create a bug. Speaking of bugs, there's currently one bug that I haven't implemented fix for, which is um, if you've equipped a sword, a weapon onto the player's hand, and if you try to pick up the same type of weapon, like, like the gray sword, and I try to pick it up, you can see that the gray sword is not equipped onto the hand, but is equipped onto the unequipped slot of the player. So in order to re-equip the sword onto the hand, then you have to like um, play the unequipped animation and then equip it again. So there's that current bug that I haven't fixed, and I will go over how you can fix that in this tutorial series. I'll be providing the project and animation asset for free to anyone who wants to follow this tutorial series or to get a glimpse of the end result of what I've done. You can get it here on this coffee site that I've set up and I'll provide a link down below as well. All I need to do is to type in the zero and press on get now, then go through the checkout process and you'll be able to download the files. And within this project, if you click into the blueprints folder and into the third person character, you can see that I made some comments and hopefully this can give you guys some guidance as to how I created the system. And you can also see comments in the weapons folder in the blueprints. As well as the animation blueprint for Manny. So in this series, what are some concepts that we'll be going through? We'll cover the concept of inheritance to create different type of blueprints for our weapons, utilizing spear trace for our collision detection, retargeting Mixama animations into our playable character, using blueprint interfaces for interactions, using animation montages and blend spaces for our playable character, switching between weapons and combat stance animations, and over the course of the series, we'll encounter different bugs and I'll be going through how you can fix them. I hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial series on the weapon equipment system. There are quite a lot of things to cover, and it will take some time, and I'll make all these tutorials as fast as I can. And I look forward to showing you guys how I set up everything, and also my thought process as I build through the system. Thank you all for watching, and I'll get right into the next episode.